What's up everyone, El Ua here, salute you wherever you are, on your request yet again, it is that time of the year where we do some predictions about the big guys, right, the big league, Mr. Olympia 2014, a lot of newcomers, you know, uh, the, uh, the lineup is so deep, it is insane, right, uh, I'm not gonna venture myself to try to call out top 10, because, you know, there are a lot of things you just cannot call, a lot of people were not in the circuit, since ever and they're coming back so let's concentrate on the top six shall we i'll also mention some of the other guys right real quick uh, these guys are newcomers so you definitely cannot call them and i will not basically uh, do that today right so uh you got newcomers you know uh, lionel uh, bayeki very good guy from france but the thing is he is not consistent when he is on he is on he was very on actually in uh, Brazil, as you guys know, he should have won, according to me, which is uh, the Arnold Classic Brazil, but they gave it to uh, Kuklu, right? Kuklu is bigger, but he was not merely as conditioned, right? But anyway, those are politics in my opinion. Again, Kuklu, uh, he will be in this year. Will he make waves? I don't think so. I'm not even sure he will crack the top 10, right? You got another dude who is not consistent, Cedric. McMillan, huge, huge potential, that guy. I mean, it's just perfect. I mean, aesthetically, he does represent all day and daily, but the thing is, he is not consistent. His weak point, he comes in soft. When you see him off-season, or actually a few weeks off the show, he looks like a freaking monster, you know, aesthetic with good mass, good balance. But then again, he comes in, you know, in the show, he is soft. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me about it. Um, you got um, Jonathan Dolarosa. He's good. He's good. Newcomer from the East Coast, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Juan Morel. These two guys are pretty much the same level. I'll see them probably placing 12, 13 this year, even though they're very good. They're conditioned. When it comes to uh, Juan Morel, dude looks huge. And he is uh, huge. The thing is, he only weighs 240, if I'm not mistaken. And he looks bigger than the dude, uh, for instance, uh, Steve Kuklu and Steve Kuklu is 265 or 270 but uh, that dude you know aesthetically is so good Juan Morel he has a good good future in this discipline another dude who is very underrated Isa Obayad right he's from I don't know like Kuwait or uh, United Arab Emirates or things like that right dude is so underrated it is just insane this, that guy is good when he is on he is very on right he's like a a big version of Momo Benaziza, if you remember him back in the early uh, 90s, right? Okay, uh, what do we have? Newcomers as well. We got Fahim Ibrahim from Egypt. I don't know the guy, to be honest. We got Justin Compton. If I'm not mistaken, this guy is uh, very young, right? Very young, very promising, this guy. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not confusing with another dude, this dude is like a bright future in this discipline. But again, you know, this year, I mean, you will not, uh, you know, don't be... Don't have huge expectations he will not crack top 10 in my opinion you got ivan santopani ivan santopani you know he was off for a while not the first time he was off because dude when he uh when he became pro he was lagging two things right his chest was definitely lagging and also his wheels he fixed them i mean significantly he did not do presses one year like two or three years ago he did not do uh presses nor any triceps exercise for like six months all he was doing is basically flies which is a good thing if you ask me to correct a lagging chest uh will he actually crack top six you know dude it's like a big in, in, and when it comes to the you know the, the muscles the muscle granity he's like a big branch warren in a sense right aesthetic he's not there he's got very good uh back very good uh, triceps. Again, he'll probably crock top 10, but I don't see him higher than um, than 8 again this year. I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, I think he recognizes that as well. Okay, so let's get back to uh, to business now. Another newcomer that I don't know. His name is uh, Tiforo Jojo. That dude I don't know, right? Fred Smalls is good, but these guys more likely will not crack. Uh, top 10. Let's get into business. Rolly Winkler. Last year, if you guys remember, he had like a motorcycle injury, basically has like a freaking hole in his quadriceps and he was not able to compete. Dude is like the best triceps probably ever, right? It's just crazy. His back is good. 
as so much I mean uh, his forearms are pretty much one of the best ever uh, front double biceps is just scary but as Flex Wheeler says it his physique does not just flow well it just does not flow well take a look at his midsection it doesn't look quite aesthetic in my opinion with all due respect right he's so good his arms are crazy probably the best in that show even bigger than that of Phil Heath but again bro, maximum if he comes uh, condition let's give him number eight for Mr. Uh, Roly uh, Winkler from uh, Korkau or the Netherlands. It's an island, right? Okay, let's get back to number seven. Who do I see number seven this year? Victor Martinez. He's better than last year, in my opinion. But then again, will he ever reach back his height, his prime when he was basically, you know, uh, killing everybody in short of one versus Jay Cutler? I don't think he has the time, right? Because he lost so many games. He went to jail. He had some family issues. His sister died. He uh, basically broke his arms. Uh, as I said, he went in jail. So, so much mishappened for this guy, but he was a very good potential. Uh, Cedric, uh, I mean, uh, Victor, I'm going to give you a seven, right? Let's uh, uh, proceed. We're top six now. Top six. Okay. If all goes well, uh, a veteran this year, probably he will wind up uh, in the sixth position, ex-Mr. Olympia. Um, he's not getting any younger. He's named the Blade because he's always sharp. He's always sharp. He, this year will not be an exception, but then again, he's not getting any younger. I think some guys will push him to, uh, to number six position. So that's it. Let's uh, drop to uh, top five. Top five, let me think about it real quick because I'm hesitating between two guys. First guy is Big Grammy. Oh, Big Grammy. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. Big Grammy is either five or fourth this year. Again, so Big Grammy is either four or five. He'll be pretty much switching that place eventually with Sean Rodden. Sean, I salute you. You're my friend on Facebook. Uh, Sean, if I'm not mistaken, is 40. Very aesthetic guy. He's like a big uh, flex wheeler with legs, right? Pretty much, right? Very aesthetic guy. Uh, very good. He uh, break into the scene um, late, actually. Late, right? He also had some family issues, if I'm not mistaken. Very good guy. I think he will be either five or fifth. He will switch that place with uh, Big Grammy. Let's get back to serious business now, right? Um, so number three. Number three, again, this is Bob Take. I mean, the two guys will switch this position. Either Dennis Wolf or Kai Green. I know, there is no suspense there. The th thing is, Dennis Wolf last year came in in very good shape. I don't know, he found a solution. He was dialing properly, he was shredded to the freaking bone. He had some issues with his hamstring, fix them. However, he had some inherent issues that he will never be able to fix. His lower back is shallow because his lats are basically high. No way to fix that. He will never have that meaty lower back Kai Green style, right? And also, he has some issues with his uh, calves. One of them just uh, is just messed up, so it might hinder that. In the past, he had some, uh, you know, uh, some belly issues, meaning his gut was coming forward. He fixed that. Other inherent uh, genetic features that are basically will dig him down is basically his arms he just does not have the bellies the peaks and the sweep he just does not have them right each pose he does even the side chest would basically uh, uh demonstrate that however his uh his delts are one of the best in the business in my opinion he's a force to be reckoned with if he comes in shredded he might push kai green right that's it kai green can Kai Green actually win Mr. Olympia this year? Honestly, yes. The thing is, he will do it if, if basically Phil messes up. If Phil does not dial in properly for whatever reason. Freaking injury, does not dial in well. Uh, he did it actually in his first Olympia. He was smaller though, but he has kind of a flu and he looked so depleted, so flat. He was just messy, right? Uh, so that's it. It is Phil Heath's Mr. Olympia to lose if both are on if both are on it will still be you know a close call but Phil Heath will still take it he is more complete 
than Kai Green. Kai Green, you can determine some weak points, namely his traps. He will not be able to fix them. It is just a mechanical issue. His structure is not optimal to have huge uh, Ronnie Coleman style or Dorian Yates style freaking um, uh, traps. And also uh, his gut, his rib cage is always pushed forward. You will see some guys actually having an S in their lower back, pretty much their lower back is a little bit pushed actually, even slightly, but that will basically bring the rib cage forward. Even when he was the leanest and the most shredded in 2012, you go back and see some uh, side chest, his belly was a little bit off. He did not have a, you know, those freaking, they call GH gut, by no means, no, it was definitely has a small, the thing is, it's just bones, almost bones uh, come in there, but that's it. It's a very, you know, he has some definitely better parts than that of Phil Heath. Namely, his wheels will always be better than that of Phil Heath. His lower back is just meatier. I prefer his biceps to that of uh, Phil Heath. Not because I'm mine is peaky, but I think it's just more beautiful. Even his triceps, I think it's basically flows. That tricep sweep of Kai Green is just better than that of uh, Phil Heath. He's also a better... Uh, spectacle man, he's a better uh, poser. I hope this year we'll see the best of him. And you never know, he might knock Phil Heath. If Phil Heath slips a bit, I don't care about the politics because you know what, what is right is right. It happened to Jay Cutler, he was the reigning Mr. O, and then he slipped. And basically, uh, Dexter Jackson was lurking in the shadow and he took Mr. Olympia. That's it, it will happen, it might happen. Again, so number one, most likely Phil Heath until his um, unless he sleep uh, he slips and Kai will take it. Um, and as I said, Dennis Wolf maximum second worst case scenario uh, three right in the future though because you will ask me about a big Grammy. Big Grammy is a huge potential, but he is still mature in a sense. This year is definitely bigger. But when it comes to details, to muscle maturity, it takes time. No matter what kind of vitamin S you're on, no matter what genetic you're on takes time to refine and fine-tune a huge potential. I want to see more details in the back. I want to see more separation in those, in those huge legs. And when he will reach that cruising speed, uh, most likely he will be unstoppable. I mean, the IPB will definitely call him pretty much probably this year or the next year. And bro, we need you. You're an exception. You're basically a sight to be seen. Uh, you're just way ahead of the field when it comes to those freaking muscularity. And let's be honest, bodybuilding fans, they love big guys. As Ronnie Coleman said it, they love grand guys. I mean, even if you do recall a few years ago, uh, Phil Heath, before he wins, Mr. Olympia, he would say, I will bring aesthetic back. I will remind you of the early 90s. But right now, he's in the mass game. So the mass is what sells in this freaking business. Fans love it. They will give the people what they want. They love something big. When Dorian came in, he was the biggest, he was reigning. And then he was replaced by who? By Ronnie Coleman. I mean, the most aesthetic guy of that era was Flex Wheeler, but aesthetic did not win him the game. So even him, he had no choice but to switch to the mass game, which was not okay for him because his, tr his structure is not that of a huge guy. Salute you wherever you are. Tell me what you think about it. I'll be waiting for your comment. Give me your top six. Have a nice one. God bless you all on a daily Peace, baby, please.